Welcome to the world headquarters of the Mass Preacher, broadcasting from somewhere partially in the ground on this continent. I entitled this teaching, The Horse Race of Life. Let's look at Philippians chapter 3, verse 13. Brethren, I count not myself to be apprehended, but this one thing I do, forgetting those things which are behind and reaching forth to those things which are before. This verse, <clears throat> uh, reaching forth unto those things before, um, it reminds me of a horse race, and especially the Kentucky Derby, and especially just the last Kentucky Derby in 2019. It was so exciting, and then the, the waiting afterwards, but the horses that are coming to the end of the race, they're giving it their all, and they're stretching, and they're stretching, and stretching, trying to be successful. And for me, as a believer in Christ, and someone who has been a believer for a very long time, uh, what a picture of my Christian life. I have nothing but respect for jockeys and, you know, they're on these huge animals, these huge horses, and they're so fast and they're so huge. I mean, it's, it's an amazing, they're amazing athletes to control that. And then in the last Kentucky Derby, one was thrown from his horse, and it's a good thing he was thrown backwards, and the horse <laughs> ran, finished the race. Uh, you know, look, I think he finished the race. I don't know what you call what, what that horse did, but he was running for a while without a rider. And man, it would have been bad if, horrible if he had fell off the other way. And so it's such a dangerous sport, but I have nothing but respect. But our lives are like that, especially as we near the end of our lives. And um, to, to say, okay, Lord Jesus, I put everything under the blood of what has happened, what I, my successes, my failures in life, and reach forth and stretch out to the things which are before. In verse 14, I press to the mark for the prize of the holy cardinal God in Christ Jesus. And then one more verse I want to read, 2 Timothy, chapter 4, 2 Timothy 4, 6 through 8. For I am now ready to be offered, and the time of my departure is at hand. I have fought a good fight. I have finished my course, I have kept the faith. Henceforth there is laid up for me a crown of righteousness, which the Lord, the righteous judge, shall give me at that day, and not to me only, but to all who also love his appearing. And that is where we're at. All of us, if you're an unbeliever, you need to receive the Lord Jesus Christ as your Savior, forget your past and begin going forward in the Lord Jesus Christ with your sins under the blood that you have received him into your heart. And then if you are a believer, whatever your successes, whatever failures, wherever you are in life, you need to like that horse in a horse race press, like the horse is pressing and stretching out towards the finish line. Lord, I pray for anyone who hears this teaching, that Lord, you deal with their hearts about the truths and realities, Lord, of this life, and serving the Lord Jesus Christ, and doing what you've called us to do, and reaching forth to that heavenly crown that Paul talks about in Jesus' name, signing off from somewhere partially on the ground on this continent, the mass preacher, veggie, good night.